São Paulo's Public Wholesale and Food Distribution Center, CAGESP bills itself as the largest produce market in Latin America. The historic drought affecting Brazil is reflected in the price of many items traded here. Citrus fruits, such as oranges, lemons and mandarins, are among the hardest hit so far. This year, compared to the 20 years I've worked here, is the hardest. There is less fruit to work with, and consequently, prices will continue to rise. If it doesn't rain, soon we won't have anything left to work with. The increase in temperatures and lack of rain is harmful. This causes the products to lose market quality, and it also reduces supply. With lower supply, prices inevitably rise. An analysis conducted by Bradesco Bank projects that the drought and recent wildfires will push food inflation in Brazil above 6% by the end of this year. Projections, however, are that a good harvest next year will only partially reverse the price hikes and hold inflation down. Food prices, even a slight increase, can make a big difference for people with lower purchasing power. The drought in Brazil is set to squeeze household budgets on at least two fronts. First, by pushing food prices and second, by driving energy costs higher. This is because Brazil generates more than half of its electricity from hydroelectric power, which is now under strain due to low water levels. The main problem I see in the medium to long term is that this scenario of more severe droughts and irregular weather patterns is here to stay. With global warming, the trend is for it to worsen. So for the future, we need to be more concerned and better prepared for this kind of situation. Brazil is one of the world's richest countries in fresh water, holding about 20% of the planet's supply. This year's historic drought is showing the serious economic impact when that precious liquid begins to dry up. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.